I'll be going over the notifications in your Shopify store, what they mean, how to customize them, all step by step so you can have a solid understanding after the completion of this video. Let's dive right into it here from your Shopify dashboard. If you go to the bottom left, you'll hit the settings section. From there, you wanna go down to notifications. As you can see where my mouse is hovering, this will get you to the notifications section. And from here, let's go over what everything means. So what these are, these are customer notifications. Email and select SMS notifications are automatically sent out to customers. And you can click on the title of the notifications below to view or edit the content. And so if we just do a scroll overview, we can see email template customizations, the orders notifications, shipping notifications, local delivery notifications, local pickup notification, customer notifications, gift card notifications, email marketing notifications, return notifications. So overall, there's quite a few emails that can automatically be sent out. So in terms of an overall, if you wanna customize the look and feel of these, you gotta to head to customize email templates at the top. This will allow you to scroll through the different templates here and add different customization on an email by email basis. We can also do is set the overall accent color. So let's say I wanna make it a red here and I wanna decrease my logo size to zero. I can hit save. And then that's gonna follow through on all of my different emails, making that process a little easier rather than having to go in and click everything one by one. So overall, if you're just starting out, there isn't too much editing I would say you need to do for these emails as they're gonna include the necessary information. As if we take a look at the order confirmation, so one of the more important emails can see thank you for your purchase, as well as the order summary and the total, as well as the customer information as well. Now there are some apps out there that give you customizable templates, which you can then add into your store. But as a beginner, it might not be fully necessary. So in terms of editing things email by email, we can click on one of them, for example, let's click into this order confirmation. We can see the email and the SMS. So these are the two previews for what's gonna show up. If you wanna edit the code for a specific email to add customization, what you wanna do is hit it at code in the top right here. Now this is going to be a little intimidating. It's going to show a bunch of liquid, which is this code here with the percentage in the curly braces, as well as HTML and CSS. So if we scroll down here, there is quite a bit of information that can be a little overwhelming. What I'd recommend if you're going to edit any of the text here, first I would copy and paste what's in there into another text editor or a document or a Word document. This way, if you make any changes and things aren't looking exactly like they should, you can simply copy and paste back in what was there before. So let's say we want to add something in here for thank you for your purchase. So I'm going to copy this text here, go back to edit code. Then I'm going to use control F or command F to find that in the document. As I can see here, there's going to be two options if payment was pending. If it wasn't, so it was completed, it's going to say thank you for your purchase. I could add something like I'll personally get your order ready now. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm just going to add that in there just for display purposes. Now there is also a revert to default button if you're just starting to edit these. So let's go to the preview here and I can see the new text I added here. I'll personally get your order ready now. So it's an easier way just to edit the text options if you're not concerned about styling. I'm going to take a moment here to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's gonna allow you to skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations. As you can see, I just selected the date range here, giving me profit calculations for that exact date section, and it's gonna make it super easy for me to understand the true profit of my Shopify store. It's gonna sync seamlessly with your different ad platforms such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok. It's going to give you a ton of different detailed analytics, allowing you to make better business decisions for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find the app listing in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. From there, you can get access to a 15 day free trial. We can test drive everything for yourself. Before this video, I won't be going over into every type of notifications, but I would recommend you go over this yourself and read through them just to see the types of emails that are being sent out. With some of them as well, you do get customization on if you want this enabled or not. You can see you can check this to send to the customer automatically after orders with tracking information are out for delivery, but you can toggle this on and off here. With these notifications, you also get a few settings. One is gonna be double opt-in, so you can get explicit consent from customers to send them email and SMS. So it's gonna require customers to confirm their email and their SMS subscription if you have these enabled. This will help clean up your list a little bit if you're hitting a lot of spam. And there is some notifications on staff order notifications. So these are gonna be emails to yourself or your staff team. We can get new order notifications. These always feel good when they come in. You can also get new return request notifications when a customer submits a return request. Now I believe this is gonna be set up with Shopify's customer self-service return 
return portal. And we have another video on the channel going over that in detail as well. And so you can add new recipients if you want different emails to get the notification. I'm going to note if you're doing customization on these notifications, there is help documentation, what is called notification variable. So if we click on this link here, it's going to open up the help document. And if we scroll down, these are going to be liquid properties that make it easy to add that information from the Shopify order to the notifications. You can see properties such as email, order name, order number. These are going to automatically be filled out. So this is quite a long document here, but it's going to list all the different properties. Just make sure you're formatting these as well when entering them in the email. As you can see, it should be formatted in these two curly brackets into closing curly brackets. And we can see email title or different ones such as the PO number here. So you can add more variables to the emails if you like. So this is going to conclude the video here on notification settings for your Shopify store. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how they work and how to customize them overall and add more text. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. I want to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store, allowing you to skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your store and make better business decisions as you're going to have a true understanding of your profit. There's a link in the description below for the Shopify app listing. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching for it. If you search Profit Calc and then look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.